Ladies and gentlemen, Brenda Doobie from Market Street United in The focus, remember, is on loving your lunch, and we're doing that with one of my favorite treats that I don't get to eat enough, and that is tuna fish. That's right. So remember, every week we've tried to do Love Your Lunch Box, Love Your Lunch in Five. Mm -hmm. This week it's Love Your Leftovers. Love and Your so Leftovers. And so we're going to start by making some tuna patties. Okay. That's kind of an old-fashioned recipe, but... Yeah, there's definitely um, something like grandma would make. We're what, what are we having? Yeah. Uh, last week we had goulash. This week yeah. we're having tuna patties. So we kind of went a little nostalgic. On okay. It. So um, I've got zucchini. I've got half a zucchini in here that I've just shredded up. Okay. And uh, because the dietitian in me has to put some vegetables somewhere. Right. Uh, you and sneak then this it in is there, tuna. This. So this is solid tuna. So solid tuna and chunk tuna both come from tuna. Right. The difference is, is they've, they've kind of basically taken a slice of that tuna and put okay. it in a can. The other one, they've kind of sliced it up. Yeah, it might be getting hot. I'm yeah, getting that right. ready for us. So um, I, I, I recently learned some of those differences, and I thought, well, oh, I didn't know that. my life without knowing that. So uh, some people actually prefer the taste of it. They feel it's a little fresher um, in there. So anyways, just one can. Now, this recipe is just going to make enough for two. So you could easily make it for lunch at home right. or double the recipe, and you'll have some for dinner. Then I'm going to take, um, you know, usually we would add breadcrumbs to a patty. But we don't want to do that because no. we want to, uh, the dietitian in you wants to <laughs> sneak add something some else in, right? So what I'm adding is a couple tablespoons of just oatmeal, old-fashioned oats in there. And then we're going to add about a quarter teaspoon of that garlic salt and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. So we're reusing some of the ingredients we used last week. So yeah, with the goulash. To, shop all over again, right? Uh, you need something to bind that, and I just grab an egg. So you can probably have an egg in your refrigerator. Everybody's got at least one egg. And so um, we're just going to put that in there and get that going. And you mean to mix that up? Would you please? Yeah. And then all I'm going to do, you can use dried dill on this, but I think fresh dill just takes it over the top. And you guys make it easy over at Market Street because you have this little section where you can go over and get your mm -hmm. fresh dill, whatever those herbs you need. Exactly. And I love the little container that it's in. So, you know, about a tablespoon of fresh dill is what you're going to add. That's it. Okay. That's our whole meal right there. And so then all we're going to do is that you can make these into patties. I, I find it easier. I have a really screaming hot skillet right here. Okay. And um, we're just going to make some patties. Now, you can make them little if you've got like little toddlers at home and you're just feeding them little ones. Make a bigger one if you're feeding some teenagers and they're going to laugh at you if you give them a little bitty patty. And that, that's really it? That's all you've got to do? You just put it down there? And that's it. And then we're going to let them brown up. And then, so this is actually really high protein. You have about 28 grams of protein um, in a serving, which would be about two of these patties. Okay. Um, the size that I'm making them. So great protein source, great way to fill up. These hold really, really well. You can make them ahead of time and keep them in the freezer. There is this nostalgic smell right now. We were talking about this is kind of that old-fashioned recipe. Mm -hmm. I remember kind of walking into my grandmother's kitchen uh, over there on Columbine here in Amarillo and, and kind of getting a feel for some of this. Well, now we just got to cook this up That's and it. serve it up after this. So don't go anywhere. We've got more uh, from Brenda Doobie in the kitchen when we come back. Yeah.